guys and welcome to the Watchtower Watch Reviews with your host DK back after an extended absence. It is time for an AliExpress sale video and as you can see I've actually got some decor behind me which is more my style anyway. This is much more than my simple aesthetic. I like my comic books behind me. So we've got a couple of different watches for you. I've got no repeat offenders on this list. I decided to completely scrap all my previous lists. There's great watches on those lists but you've seen them already. So let's give you something new. We got a couple of different brands that we've seen already from the likes of Pagani. We've got a Steel Dive on there. We've got, uh, what else we got? We got Suges or Suges, however they pronounce that. We've also got some unusual ones like a Chinese mechanical hand wind watch, very vintage looking. You've got a Cooper Pathfinder Quartz, which is coming up and there'll be an unboxing. Oh, there's been an unboxing of that already actually. Basically, there's a mechanical or two, there's an automatic or two, and there's a quartz or two. Something for everyone from every budget range, from every walk of life, and every type of watch. Even ones that I particularly wouldn't be a fan of, but I think that maybe some of you might absolutely adore one in particular, which we'll go through. Guys, let's take a look. Let's not waste any more time. It's great to be back. Let's get to it. First up on the list is this little Cooper Pathfinder Quartz. You can get these directly from Cooper as well, but I see these on AliExpress and I actually picked mine up on AliExpress. It's a watch I've actually liked the looks of for a while and I know people have been asking for more military watch reviews on the channel. So I decided I'd pick this one up and give it a review and an unbox. It's been unboxed on the channel. There'll be a link in the description, uh, link in the description of the video below. It's a decent size, it's a decent spec. Nothing spectacular, but it's nice, it's fun, and it's fairly cheap. It also looks great in the black. I don't have any PVD coated black ones, uh, I, that is watches, in my collection. There's also a sandblasted version, but I think the black on the black NATO looks great. It's also surprisingly versatile with straps, and you get to see it on wrist there. On my just under 7 inch wrist, sits very nicely indeed. Next up is one from a brand we've seen before, or at least something similar, Steel Dive. This one is their homage of the Squale. I think it's the 50 Atmos. It has all the usual Steel Dive specs. You've got an NH35 in it. You've got an insane loom. You've got sapphire with anti-reflective coating, ceramic bezel insert, and that engineer style bracelet. Only a pressed clasp, but honestly, this one looks class. If it's me, there's a green one there. I'm not too sure about that one, even being Irish with green, white, and gold there. I think the black and the blue are the ones to go for. Decent price on these one as well. Again, there'll be affiliate links down below for all these watches. If it was me, I'm picking up blue or black, and I'm severely tempted myself to go that way. I've been having this one in my cart for about six months, and I think I might finally pull the trigger. Up next, though, is the cheapest watch on our list, the little Shanghai Handwind watch. Now, the handwind movement inside is nothing to write home about. I don't think the power reserve is great, but this thing looks like it stepped right out of the 1930s. It's really vintage looking. It's awesome. You just see, you see there, there's a huge variance in prices. The one I got was about 35 quid with a coupon or two, but there's plenty of color variation. You can get an expando bracelet with that really stretchy kind of elastic in between. You can get the leather. Leather isn't anything special, and it is only a uh, Perspex or a, what's the other thing called? Uh, oh, plastic acrylic crystal, but it's pretty cool and it's reasonably cheap. You pick it up for pocket money and it wears lovely on the wrist. I do have it quite tight. I actually put this one on a little tight for my wrist, if I'm honest. Probably should have loosened it up by one notch, but it looks so good. It's actually a great gift if you want to give it to an older person, I think, because it really suits an older person's style. I think it's something that if you're in your 60s, you could actually rock quite well. And if you're a younger, like me, in your 30s, I think you can rock this as well. It looks great, and I think it might be a suit watch. Next up is a strap. Why have we put a strap in for this? Well, because bun straps are kind of at a premium. You don't see too many of them on AliExpress, and this one is decent enough for the price. You get a couple of different color variations. I bought myself a black one for a very specific reason. $13.60 in the sale, you get a couple of coupons, probably comes down a dollar or two there, or a euro or two, depending on what you want, from the on the level watch band store. And I got it to go with this, this Paul Newman Rolex Daytona homage by Pagani Design. Now, we did get one of these for free from the store that's going to be in the uh, description below, the affiliate link. So do bear that in mind. But I do really like this one on the bun strap bracelet not really up to much as with most Paganis you can get a black one you can get a black one with a fancier box you can get a creamy kind of white one which is the one I have and a creamy white one with a slightly nicer box I also opted for the nicer box because when it's free you might as well 
If you don't like that though, there is also a very similar watch with pretty much the same specs with the VK64 mecha quartz movement, uh, 100 meters water resistance, blah, 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 sapphire crystal, all the usual. But if you prefer, you want an Omega Aquaterra style uh, homage, you can pick this one up instead. There'll be a link in the description below as well. However, I did, as I say, get the Rolex Daytona homage for free. So this one is on the button strap. And I think if you like the look of the monster, this is pretty cool. It's a big old boy on wrist. You're probably going to hit it off a few things, but with Sapphire Crystal and 100 meters of water resistance, you don't really need to worry about it too much. Wouldn't be going swimming with it anyway. Here's one that's on my list, and I will be picking this up in the sale because it is an homage of the Tag Monaco by a crowd. I think it's called Specht and Son. I don't think they have any connection to Switzerland or Germany, and I have checked with them, and that is what's on the dial. It's not going to come with a Tag dial, which would be a real problem for me. But again, it has a mech quartz movement inside from Seiko. It has a, it's a hard Lex crystal, unfortunately. But how often do you get to wear a Tag Monaco in Gulf colors? I mean, I certainly won't in my lifetime, I'd say, because it's a watch that isn't a grail for me, but it is a really pretty watch. You can get a silver version of this. You can get a kind of a chocolatey brown version. Eh, not too sure about that one. But the one I want is this one, the Gulf colors. That looks awesome. And I really, really want that. There's also this blue and white one, which is pretty tasty on a blue leather strap. There's a plain blue version, which is sort of similar to what the Monaco colors are for the tag one. There's a green. I actually don't remember seeing a green tag uh, Monaco. And there's a black one, which I have seen because my buddy Jason, the watch guy, actually owns one of those. I uh, don't know if he's reviewed that or not. And hopefully he doesn't mind me mentioning that. Specs on this one, nothing special. Three bars water resistance. It is a hard Lex crystal, as I said. 39 millimeters in diameter would probably wear quite large though simply because of that weird square shape and it's our second strap of the evening and why have i picked another rolex submariner strap well because this one is actually the best strap i've had on a rolex submariner homage and i bought a green one you're going to see why in a few seconds but there is green there's black there's blue there's black with stripes green with stripes green with black buckles green with silver buckles red I don't remember ever seeing a red Rolex uh, Submariner homage, so that's an unusual choice. Maybe you could pair it with black, I don't know. I'm not too sure how that would look, but there's plenty of options here. And to be honest, if you do like your Rolex Submariner homages and you've got a couple of them lying around, these fitted rubbery straps are quite decent to have on, on site. I'll throw links down below. Now, this is the reason I got mine, though, because I got myself in the last sale a San Martin Rolex, I keep going to say Daytona, a Rolex Submariner homage. I got the green one, but the black one is pretty damn tasty as well. And there is that deep sea one as well with the kind of blue to black fade. That's pretty damn nice. Comes with a really good bracelet. Loom is excellent as well. The only reason I swapped it off the bracelet is because I thought with the green, it just deserved to live on a color coded strap got it from the san martin official store and here it is look at that green sunburst look at that beauty on the wrist seven inch wrist well slightly just under but we all exaggerate in inches don't we lads nice watch as well ceramic bezel insert nh 35 signed crown 200 meters of water resistance and it looks pretty damn tasty to me However, if you don't fancy homages, I don't know what this is an homage of. If someone can leave me know in the comments below, please tell me. This is a Lax Denton GMT watch. I tried searching this and I don't know if I, I can't remember if I came up with anything for an homage for this. It's nice looking in fairness. I don't know how much the bracelet is up to. Uh, they do have a canvas strap for this one as well. 200 meters water resistance. This is that DG movement. Uh, made by oh god i'm after forgetting what they're called pearl i think they're called uh 30 hour power reserve independent gmt hand it's got a date that actually joins very nicely into the indices of the watch at the three o'clock position can't speak to the loom but for 85 quid this is a pretty decent value proposition to me like you can't get a pagani design for 85 quid for a gmt anymore i don't think they're after bumping their prices up the black one's pretty cool but i think the blue is pretty spectacular I don't know what it's an homage of though. Can someone leave me know in the comments? Because I tried reverse imaging searching this and I couldn't see anything. But it's pretty nice and for 85 quid, it's not a bad one to pick up. It's pretty much the price you pay for a pub, uh, a day in the pub. For the price, I don't know where you're going to get a 20 bar stainless steel 
water resistant GMT watch with a date for around this price. I don't think anyone's doing this, even Bagani Design. However, a bit more upmarket, well, a bit more up price anyway, is this homage of a Bell & Ross watch by Fika. Now, this wouldn't be for me if I'm honest, but I thought it was so unusual I was going to include it in the list so you guys get to see it anyway. If you do pick one up, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I won't be picking this one up because it's something I don't think I'll ever wear. It looks massive on wrist, so it'll certainly not suit me. But for people who have larger wrists, I think this one could be a fun option for you guys. Now, as I say, it isn't cheap, 233 to 243 for the prices in euros with taxes included. Certainly not cheap. There's a black version with a blue strap. There is a black version with a weird camo strap. I'm not sure why you'd pick that. Or there's this blue version. And I think if I was picking for me, I'd go for the blue version. Now, you do only get a Seagull ST16 movement inside. I would have preferred an NH35. I have had a Seagull ST16 and had no issues with it. It was in the Lario watches that I had before. Nothing wrong with that movement. It's just a couple of grades down from the, um, the NH35. But I'd still prefer it over Miyota, if I'm honest. 22 millimeter band, so you will find it a bit hard to stretch across or switch out. And a sapphire crystal means you shouldn't worry about banging it around. However, here is something I think if I had more tuxedo events to go to, I would absolutely be picking up. This is a Boltony tuxedo dial watch, and it is absolutely achingly beautiful to me. It's 109 quid. It's a VD78. It's, I believe that is the quartz movement with the, uh, is it the four ticks per second. I'm not too sure. I will have to Google that afterwards. But Baltany are doing some really interesting watches at the moment. And this is one to keep an eye on. However, if you want to treat yourself to something that is awesome looking, this Suges mechanical chronograph is definitely up there. You've got that Seagull ST19 movement that I had in the Felida uh, Moonwatch that I had, uh, Felida Moonwatch homage, I should say, and it is a great movement. Now, I don't personally need a mechanical chronograph in my life, but if I did, God, this one would be hard to look past. The blue one, not too gone on the blue color, but the specs are decent for everything. 50 meters of water resistance. You've got sapphire crystal, which I'm guessing is probably domed as well, or at least boxed. It is nice. Now, take a look at the prices there, so be careful. It says on sale it's 240, and the regular price is 225. So be very careful, as always, when you're buying stuff on the AliExpress sale that you don't get caught. My personal choice is that cream dial with the black subdials and the little orange bit. The blue doesn't really tickle my fancy, but the V2 is the one that I would want. That is awesome. I think that looks great. I think it's great on the black strap or the brown, but the black would be my preference. And keeping with the Sugest team, here is a high beat ceramic bezel insert sapphire crystal gmt watch that goes to 200 meters of water resistance now tell me another brand that you can buy this from and don't say rolex before anyone says it's very obviously an homage of the gmt master 2 but again keep an eye on the prices because they seem to have it listed higher than they do normally now i think if you're going to treat yourself to a gmt watch and you're going to spend a bit more money a high beat GMT movement is nothing to be sniffed at. 28,800 vibrations per hour is an excellent thing to have in a watch. I have it in a couple of pieces, not as many as I would like, but it is great. Do bear in mind the Pepsi one costs more to buy because it is a ceramic bezel insert for Pepsi and red ceramic is apparently an absolute bugger to get right. It does have great uh, specs as well. Your sapphire crystal also has AR coating on it. And I believe this one even has a sort of glide lock-esque system or a glide lock homage system with the flip-flop adjust. And I think that is a really good thing if it can be done well. Finally on the list, there is this Pagani design homage of the Longines. I think it's the Longines Spirit. And I am getting one of these for free from the store. So do bear that in mind. I haven't picked a color. I haven't picked anything out of it yet. And I do think it's a nice looking piece. It was on my list to buy potentially before they ever offered it to me. So in fairness, I'm not just selling out for this one. 38 millimeters in diameter is a great size for a watch like this. 20 millimeters bandwidth means you're going to have endless options to swap out. You've got water resistance as well of 100 meter or 200 meters. Sorry, I take it back and a sapphire crystal and that is nothing to be sniffed at this one is available as you i mean it's pretty much you can use it as a dive verb except for the fact there is no dive bezel obviously and it's also dressy enough i think if you stick this on leather especially if you get the blue dial on blue leather that could be looking pretty special 
there is plenty of color options. You've got blue, you've got black if you're a little bit boring, you've got olive green, I'm not sure, and then you've got white as well. You can also get a fancier box if you fancy yourself. I'm not too bothered about a box, but if it's for free, I'll probably take the fancy box. 182 down to 146. If you like the look of the Longines Spirit, this is certainly one to check out. So guys, there you have it. My list of watches for the Adi Express March 28th, 2022 sale. There's a little something for everyone, even things that maybe wouldn't be for me. Uh, there's two watches on that that I wouldn't personally get myself. There's the Mechanical Chronograph. I'm just not a big mechanical chronograph guy, but it does look amazing. If it was a VK64 with a date, I might actually consider buying one. And the other one being the FICA, I just think it's going to wear massive on my wrist. I quite like smaller watches like the Cooper Quartz and the little Shanghai watch that I've got on the list as well. As always, guys, only ever buy what you can afford. Don't ever extend yourself. If you do want to buy some watches and you'd like to use the affiliate links, I'd really appreciate that. It does help out the channel. And as always, shop around, get yourself the best value. Make sure you add coupons and discounts and everything else you can to save yourself the most money because you never know. You might go in with a budget, find something you like, save a whole bunch of money, and then have a little bit left over to get something else as well as a little treat to yourself. Guys, I have been your host, DK. This has been the Watchtower Watch Views. This has been an AliExpress list video. I do about three to four of these a year when they have the big sales. Don't really mess around with some of the smaller ones. And I'll see you guys next time.